Hi honeys. How's your day going so far? Mine is going fine. Okay, I'm getting ready to make some salmon in my air fryer. And my old home ec teacher in high school, she told me it was pronounced salmon. Not salmon because there's an L in it. So whatever, I'm fixing some. Okay, stay tuned. <laughs> Got two pieces of salmon, and this one is thick, so of course, this is gonna have to cook longer than the other piece. And this is only my second time making this kind of salmon. Yeah, I used to always buy that salmon in the can, you know, like uh, what you make salmon croquettes out of. That's all I knew about. And then these new style YouTube people, they showed me that they can make salmon in the air fryer and it looked like it tasted good. So I tried it once. And you see, I'm back. Because it looked good. And what I tried, it was so good. Come on now, how you get in it? If I can't get in it, that means I don't need it. I want all these juices to come out. Okay. And I rinse my fish off. You know it just come out the water. <laughs> and I always smell it. Make sure it's kosher. That's a big fish. Look at that. I'm going to dry it out before I season it. So, so I just cut it this way. Now, let's be careful with these plastic packages because I don't want to be scratched up. Okay. No trouble this time. Come on, come on out of here. Smell it. Smells fine. I usually have a bag on the counter to catch my garbage scraps. But I don't right now. Dry enough. Let me throw this trash away now. I can stand to see stuff everywhere. I need bags out my bag drawer. I wonder if everybody has a bag drawer. Okay, no, no, no. I don't have any more garbage that's going to go in here, so throw it away now. Alrighty. I want mustard on it. Yep. Yeah. Here's a little. Here's a little, um, Alderwood smoked sea salt. I got this on Amazon. I 
black pepper. And I'm going to switch the uh, mush mustard around after I season it. And some Old Bay seasoning. And that's all. I know the fish will not taste like mustard. see no sense in seasoning the, uh, the skin side. I really don't. Okay. That's it. Let me wash my hands. I'll be back. Okay, y'all. I decided I want some lemon. Juice. Just pouring a little in my hand. Uh, what time is it? One thirty-eight. Good afternoon. How are you just now going to get dinner? I'm gonna let that sit a little. Let that lemon juice permeate the meat. And I will be back. Okay, y'all. I prepared my air fryer basket. And by that, I mean I put in a perforated parchment sheet. This just aids in the cleanup. It's not necessary, but it's nice. I'm gonna spray that paper. Or should I just spray the other side of the fish? I'm gonna spray the back of the fish. I'll see what I'm doing. See that? This is big. And I'm gonna fit both of these pieces in here. I have the 5.3 quart air fryer. So I know somebody's going to ask me. Okay, I spray the underside of the fish. Once again, I don't like my hands being nasty. I try to clean up as I go in the kitchen. Unlike other people around here who cook, <laughs> there's only two people who live in this house. <laughs> okay, I'm spraying the top of my fish. And I put it skin side down. And I forgot how long I cooked this for last time. Hmm. I'm going to try 12 minutes. You all see that. Sitting on the court, can't have that. Dangerous. Ooh, this trivet to hold that cord back. And I cook everything at 400 degrees. So, and you don't have to touch it again after you set the the thermostat. Um, I'm gonna try 10 minutes. I will be back. Okay, y'all, while, while I'm waiting for my fish to cook, I'm going to show y'all my poinsettia I got way before Christmas. It's hanging on for dear life. I brought it in the kitchen. I had to take one plant out. There's my pineapple top. I've had it for about eight months. It's just sitting in water. We have a uh, hello plant down there. I got some little shelf sitters. There's one, there's one. There's one. There's one. There's a 
that. And this is my, what you call Lucky Bamboo. It was a little bitty something. And this raw is so tall, I don't know what to do with it. We got another little shoot off the side right here. And there's one. And here's one. And actually, kind of another type uh, of plant inside here with the ivy. This is some kind of ivy. And this is pothos. And in there, and it's growing quite nicely. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I'm getting ready to stop it. Um, it cooked for 10 minutes and I had to set it again. So it's cooked for... I cook for 15 minutes altogether. This is done. To have cut this into small pieces. I said that before. Tearing up one piece trying to get this up. That's it. It's done to me. So I'm going to step to the side of Let me bring this to the stove. Then I bring out to the stove. Thicker piece. You know, I'm take picture of it first. Go I tear it up. Okay, I'm gonna cut into this thick part right here. Oh wow! Yes, it's done. Nice and flaky like it's supposed to be. It's cooked. Hot. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm glad I discovered this fish. It's good. Mmm. Oh, my little piece. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good, y'all. You see, do I want to eat some of that skin? I like chicken skin. Some of the skin. Mm -hmm. I didn't even season the skin. It's good. The skin is kind of crispy. 
I didn't uh, turn the fish over at all. Mmm. This is some good fish. Okay, let me stop. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I need up all my coleslaw that I had to go with this. Okay, if you like this video, please leave a nice comment, subscribe to my channel, and give me a thumbs up. Okay, you all have a blessed day, and thanks for watching. Bye. Hey y'all, this is a, another late night snack. So I got a piece of salmon in here on a bed of salad. And I got some onions cut up in here and some boiled eggs. And with uh, French dressing. Yum, yum, yum. Good eating. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, bye. <laughs>